Well, hasn't projected how much these meters will raise for the city because money isn't the bottom line. Merchants were having trouble with people parking all day on the streets, so the customers didn't have anywhere to park when they wanted to come in and shop. Okay, so about three weeks ago, you might remember, we did a story on the first day parking meters went live in downtown Caldwell. You could hear, may have caught a couple people off guard to get down there and see that they had to now pay, but for the most part, most people seemed to understand why it was happening, as you also heard. To keep the traffic moving around the downtown core, to put a limit on how long someone could park in a prime spot and make a little money for the city, of course. However, two weeks later, we were hearing from the tenants down there, it wasn't working. It hasn't made us any busier at all. In fact, the streets in front of the store seem a lot more empty than before. The ideal solution would be we take out all the parking meters and we just forget that this funny little two weeks ever happened. So business owners were complaining they were actually losing money because of those meters. A couple as much as 55 to 75 percent of income in that short amount of time, which led to a bunch of them, including well, about 300, including employees and customers, to sign a letter asking the city to take out those parking meters. But the city of Caldwell, well, they stood behind the new parking policy, and they still do, saying it takes feedback from business owners and the public seriously. But it strongly believes the parking meters will help by promoting the turnover of parking spaces. And if visitors can't find parking, the city said it'll hurt the vibrancy and growth of downtown. But after seeing those stories, we did get a few comments from viewers, like from Wayne and Emmett, who believes parking meters are an extension of a greedy government. But then Shelley, who maybe isn't on the same side of the fence as Wayne, but does want to know where the meter money goes since money doesn't seem to be going to the business owners. So Shelly, we asked the city of Caldwell and we were told the revenue will go into a parking fund to pay for improving parking in downtown Caldwell in the core area there. But part of it will also go to the company managing the meters and other paid parking facilities. So maybe you don't want to pay for parking in downtown Caldwell. OK, there are options for you. This is a map of downtown Caldwell and its parking possibilities in the two block radius around Indian Creek Plaza. The areas in green, those are the new metered street parking spots, about a hundred of them. The rust colored rectangles, those are also paid parking, but in lots. The yellow right next to the train depot, those are permit parking spots reserved usually for business owners and employees. Want to park for free? No problem. Look for any street without a meter or head to the purple parking lots by the train tracks where the first three hours are free. There's also the blues where it's free all day and just about a two block walk to the plaza. OK, so there you go. Hope that answers all your questions about the downtown Caldwell parking situation. But I guess that kind of leads to some questions we might have, like to the business owners and the visitors. Is a three week range enough to gauge how a new parking program is going? I just curious. Is a dollar an hour really that restrictive to parking downtown? Or if free is what you seek, is a walk of two tenths of a mile too much? It's questions we might have.